Morning. Starting the day off. Pull start in a 4020. America. So we have a corn bin that's somewhat plugged up and we have a six inch grain vac over here that needs some work done on it. A friend of mine um, is a grain vac salesman. He's on the way down. He's gonna help us get that grain vac up and going. But we're gonna need that 4020 to run it. Whoa! So this 4020 is dad's first tractor. If you missed this video, when we got it back two years ago, we found this tractor at a guy we were farming for, ironically. Just so happened to be a guy Dad went to high school with, and he sold him the tractor back. So this is Dad's actual first tractor. He even found the serial numbers and some old records, and it is 100% Dad's old tractor. Now there's a video where we talk about this tractor two years ago. If I remember, which is probably not going to happen, I'll put a link to it in the description. Probably one of my favorite videos I've done, just because... There's a picture of dad when he was 21 years old, or 20, might have been 24 or 5, the day he got rid of this tractor, and we recreated that picture right in front of my house. It was a, it was a pretty cool video. Check it out. I'm going to try the jump pack first. It says 10.4 volts. It says 10.4. That'll be enough at least to get the click. Well, now we're down to 6 points. I think the trade's in between 171 and 123. I don't know exactly, but it's... Ready! Success! Got brakes? The one thing about an old 4020, when it ain't running, you don't have brakes. We were getting close to a hill, so it's a good thing it started when it did. So with that old tractor, when we got that thing back, like I said, that was two years ago, a lot of people asked what the plans were for it were. Uh, Dad still goes back and forth between repainting it and leaving it the way it is. It is all original. That is the original paint. So right now while we're waiting on the grain vac guy, we're going to move some of these boxes a week into the building where we keep all of our seed so we can free up some shop space. Boss man must be going for a joyride. Literally a trip down memory lane, if you will. So there's part of the wheat, and no, we're not planting a lot more wheat than we have in previous years. Maybe 50 more acres or so. That's one question I got a lot when wheat prices went up. You guys gonna plant a lot more wheat? Nah, probably not. A little bit more, but not a lot more. Contact there. See if you see smoke or anything in there. Let's start her. Okay. I was making contact. Push starting her again. Nothing to it. If you can't tell, we've got a slight issue with our starter. Oh yeah, that that definitely make a difference. Is that concrete? Yes. Cinder block. Okay. Can we get the tractor going? Boy, that's nasty, boy. A little bit rotten in there. Yeah. What, what concerns me is this. Here's what the problem was, Bob. Oh. Part of it anyhow. So. Uh, How big a crescent wrench is you got? You got some? Got you got anything with two foot handles or something? You got a yeah. big three foot pipe wrench. Give me a couple of big crescents, um, Bob. If you as big as you got, and if you got a pipe to go over the outside of it as well. 
Yep. Let's go the other way, Bob. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. You need to. That gets you or too much? Okay, hang on. Slots in them okay. in these holes, and you can. Well, I didn't know if you want dropping this plate now. No, raising those up. no. Okay. Yeah, I got you. Yep. And so, uh, and what I would probably do if I was you guys is when I took them off, I just flip the blade over and get a new edge. Right. So I think we were pretty well ready to go. We're gonna eat some lunch. We gotta put the tank back on, but Dane is the one that really got us uh, fixed up here. So Dane, you want to tell people how to get a hold of you and I guess what products you sell. So Dane works for Walinga, yeah. and so, he's who helped us get our little Walinga. So uh, I met Brian last year and his dad at Farm Science Review and we they were interested in a little Walinga and we got them set up with a guy and uh, so glad to make their acquaintance. Um, I work for Walinga. I cover Indiana, Ohio, Michigan as a factory representative uh, doing sales and service and installation. Glad to come out and get this one going for them. Uh, they talked to me about it and I said well I think I can help you out even though it's not my color. Uh, I know what to do and so uh, happy to come and help them get going. Uh, you can get a hold of me anytime if you'd like at 616-460-6837 uh, or dane.peterson at willinga.com. So you guys will probably be at Farm Science Review here this we month too. We will be, yeah. If, uh, if you see this and stop by and say hello, uh, we'll be glad to show you what all Willinga's got to offer as far as quality pneumatic equipment. So. All right, well I appreciate you stopping out. This is going to make that bin a lot easier and a lot safer for me <laughs> than getting in a, a bin that's half uh, that's correct that's plugged uh, above all uh, don't get in a bin if you don't have to and uh, be sure and have some spotters with you and some communication that's the important thing when you're if you do go in, into a bin that uh, as Brian mentioned you can't see the floor in yep. so uh, I'd strongly encourage everybody to above all be safe and uh, there's ways to get it out uh, using utilizing pneumatic equipment um, and it uh, lessens the operator danger to the environment so but now the important stuff lunch <laughs> sounds good <laughs> well now that we're not famished we'll uh we'll get this tank back on here now i doubt we haul any corn with this grain back today by the time we get this on here it'll be time for football friday night i think bj has to take off a little early i think they've got a long drive and then i'm actually going after a new gooseneck trailer so i gotta try to get down to a county below us before five o'clock. Again, thanks Dane for coming down and helping us with that vacuum. That was a lifesaver. So before we put this tank on here, we've got to put a bead of silicone because this is an airlock, so it needs to be pretty airtight. So one thing we do need to point out, we bought this thing very used and it's been froze up ever since we got it. So I'd say when we got it, it was froze up. Because we haven't ran any grain through it to freeze it up. Now cinder block probably didn't help much. Say, show the good folks at home what how it froze up. Well, Dane was saying he figured it was probably froze up before that cinder block even. He said it was just kind of resting in there. There she is. The destination is on your left. Yeah, there's a new gooseneck. So Dad wanted one that's big enough we could haul that mini excavator and a few other things we have that the other trailer is just a little bit too light for. So we will be selling our uh, old Mort's gooseneck. It's not a tandem like this. This one has dual uh, axles. Basically, it has eight tires. This is a 25,000 pound trailer. Our old one's a 15, so 
we can we can hold more plus we got a dovetail or a hydraulic dovetail dad was pretty keen on that idea said he's too old to be messing with ramps okay so we got her but that's going to be it for today folks so thanks for watching do me a favor thumbs up the video leave us a comment check the links in the description i mean we got wag bars we got Ariat discounts we got brian's farm views merchandise all sorts of good stuff check that out and we'll see you in the next one